Have you ever been walking in a strange place and been recognized by someone you know? It's a strange feeling. Sometimes you expect to be recognized, but at other times you do not. Welcome to Mornings with Bishop Robert. Hey, thanks for joining me. My goal is to introduce people to the Jesus they never knew and help them get to know him and his word personally and better. So if our time together today speaks to your heart, then let me invite you to like, subscribe, and share it with a friend. So some time ago, a man in Gainesville, Texas had problems with his car. It was in a parking lot outside one of the local shopping areas, and his battery simply would not crank the engine. Well, a passing motorist saw his plate and stopped to offer some assistance. Since neither of the men had jumper cables, the Good Samaritan went into one of the stores and bought a set. The men proceeded to jump the battery and get the vehicle started. Good deed done, the rescuer gave the original driver the cables and continued on his way. And then another person standing nearby came over and shared a video of the incident he had taken, informing the motorist that his rescuer had been none other than NFL Hall of Famer Terry Bradshaw. Now, while Bradshaw is certainly most famous for his sports career, the former Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback is also a servant of Jesus Christ. And it was his faith, not his football skills, that were seen that day. And as you watch him serve a man he'd never met, you can recognize that Terry Bradshaw had been with Jesus. Today's verse says, they recognized them as men who had been with Jesus. I want to be recognized as one who's been with Jesus. Neither fame nor celebrity will amount to anything in eternity. Not that I'm in much danger of either. But as a preacher once observed, only one life will soon be passed, and only what's done for Christ will last. When people encounter you, what strikes them? Is it your physique, your vocabulary? Some characteristics are evident immediately. Others are only discovered over time. But the fact that we've been with Jesus ought to shine brightly in each encounter. It's only our having been in his presence that can truly impact and change every aspect of who we are. He's forming our character, molding us into his image, as we spend time with him. Sometimes people are amazed that I've spent time with presidents, prime ministers, and even the Pope. But what ought to truly amaze them is that I spend time with the King of Kings. It's my time in his presence that has the greatest impact on me. My prayer is that this will impact not only this world, but the next. Yeah, he alone has the capacity to touch every area of our heart and soul, to transform our sinful lives into channels of his powerful Holy Spirit. To him belongs all the glory and honor for the things he's done in and through us who serve him. It's his power and his grace that we're called to put on display, his love, his offer of forgiveness that we are commissioned to proclaim. It's him and him alone who changes lives from the perspective of eternity. They recognize them as men who have been with Jesus. Hey, let's you and I be people who have recognized as being with Jesus. As we wrap up, can I ask you to help me introduce people to the Jesus they never knew? And then help them get to know him and his word personally and better. Please like this video to help more people see it. Then click follow or subscribe so you and I can get together each morning. I would love to hear your comments about how you can show people you have been with Jesus. And then one more thing, of course, please share this video with a friend. Because as you do, you're part of the team that is touching the hearts all over the world with the love of Jesus. Thanks for helping.